Well, I wish you would look at this. It's a prize. It's a, like a legit stop lamp, I think. Anyway, I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. Anyhow, welcome back to the channel. One of the things on our list for old Winston here is getting some exhaust work done. And that's not something I'm going to do myself because, you know, I'd like it done correctly. So, I guess we're going to load him up and head off to the muffler shop. I really need a better trailer because these things here like weigh eight tons. Pain in the ruckus. The Rucka Marolas. The Senior Buttocks. All loaded up. Ready to go. We'll go see if we can give old Winston a voice here. What you think, buddy? Want some pipes? Sure you do. Folks at Magnaflow sent me these, this pair of glass packs. And this X... Oh, it's not in there. Where did it go? Here it is. This X-pipe module thing. These Magnaflow folks, man. Awesome. Of course, when I say the muffler shop, that's what I mean. Well, what do you think, Nate? It don't look bad under here, huh? It's going to be fine. Clean. Super clean. Uh, don't be flattering me now. And you know why I'm not doing this, right? Because welding. Welding in me is, uh, I can, it's like uh, country line dancing. I can, I can do it, but it's it real pretty. ugly and no one wants to see it. Yeah, it came out, it's, it's, it's actually looking pretty, pretty slick under here. I like it. It's yeah. the first time it's been on a lift since we started working on it. It's crazy clean. It really is. Yeah, we redid the whole thing. You, you blasted and painted all this up. It, well, I wouldn't say blasted. It's more like elbow grease. Okay. Man, it looks like you took it down and just had it soda blasted. It was so clean. I just, I'm looking forward to it sounding better. My daughter and I just redid her K10. Oh, yeah? This past year, so. It's back in the back. You got a lift at the house? Uh oh. Oh, man. I don't even have a garage at the house. My wife won't let me put one in. <laughs> Get out of here. You want one at the house, you got one at the shop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's time for a new wife. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't, don't tell her I said that. Oh, no, no, no. There's that if you want Oh, look at that. Oh, now, well, now I can see stuff maybe I didn't want to see. Well, am I going to have to go up in here? Hit those glass packs, or am I, am I able to go under that? I might need to go up in here. I don't just go ahead and kick it up in the, the space here. Hit the glass packs here. What do you think? Um... Yeah, I mean, I imagine that would be. I mean, I don't. It wouldn't hang any lower than the tank, I guess. But okay. But I mean, if I'll leave that up to you. I mean, you're the expert, man. It's always got to work around the plumber and electrician, so <laughs> I'm just the HVAC guy. These may actually have to go at a little bit of an angle, like that. Yeah, that's, that's cool. The case that actually kind of gives it a cool look. I'll match that frame angle right there. Listen, I can't even operate the flashlight. I don't know how. Oh, there it is. There it is. One more time. There it is. Yeah. What do you think about something like that? Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I like how I like how it follows the frame. Yeah, I think you know, it looks like pretty that. neat too. Then I can just level yeah. it out with a tailpipe. Yeah. And it'll just be a straight shot back to the dome. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Okay. Gonna sound great. Gonna stop vibrating my teeth fillings out.
I mean, I didn't bring my micrometer with me, but it, it looks good through the one good eye I got. Well, once the pipes are in there, it's going to be hard to see anyway. <laughs> yeah. that looks... And I really like how that looks, too. I think that's the right call right there. It's going to be real close right here. I may have to dimple the top of the pipe to clear that. Yeah. That never moves. Well, yeah, it will. It'll swing a little bit. Only when, you know, we're giving it the full Monty. <laughs> And at that point, you ain't paying attention to anything else anyway. That's right. It's about an 8 inch offset, too. Almost directly in line with that header. That's funny. <laughs> That's how we get maximum flow. Yeah. I don't guess that Jimmy's for sale. I'll tell you what I'll do on that e-brake cable, Nate. So that you, you have to... Lay it right on there to do it. I'll come back and put a spacer in this and drop it drop down. It down. Okay. Yeah. I mean, as long as we got washers, we can do anything. Oh, you can do it. It's like walking through the matrix under here. Oh, look, hangers. It looks good. Well, it did. Now look now what I'm you done did. <laughs> the neighbors really loved me when I was, you know, firing it up and testing it and running oh, around sure. the neighborhood and stuff. Yeah. Sure. I tried to make sure I did it real early in the morning and super late at night. No, we don't want people to see anything. We want them to try to guess where the noise is coming from. Right. Listen, man, you're the pro, but I'm guessing welding without wire is difficult. Well, it takes a while to learn that. <laughs> <laughs> man, I really like how this is coming out. I mean, this is custom right here. Awesome. What the is something different, you know? That's right. I bet you Joe Martin ain't done nothing like this. We should patent it, is what we should do. Careful, it's hot. I do that all the time. The sound of a solid weld, man. It's like music. I mean, it, it, it ain't Reba McIntyre music, but it's good. You know, it's just got a good sound to it. Oh, yeah, I'll just... What I'll do is I'll go both sides, and I'll, because it's clipped up here. Okay. So I can go to both sides and Pull drop a spacer in, and it'll just kind of on both sides. So I, I ain't worried about that. No harm. And listen, it's just a park break. So if we if it really becomes a problem, snip, snip. All right. As long as I got, <laughs> as long as I got uh, these other ones. <laughs> Smells good too. It's got a certain smell to it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Oh man, you drilled a hole in my frame. I've drilled 400. One of us ought to feel bad. I don't know, you might be off by one quarter of a millimeter over here. Crooked eye. <laughs> He's going to town in there. Try to stay out of his way. Because I know how aggravating it is when people get in your way. Well, Nate, I can't thank you enough. This looks... It looks awesome, man. I mean, it's... It's, it's like serious looks awesome. And this, this little trick right here, I mean, that just... Kind of sets it off. That takes it? the cake, man. I guess now the only thing to do is see what it sounds like. Let's do it. Man, this thing's slower than me getting out of bed in the morning. <laughs>
It makes as much noise too. Right? Squeaky, crunchy. A lot of squeaks and moans and <laughs> groans. Well, we made it back safe and sound, which is an absolute miracle around Atlanta. Now let's see what it sounds like in its natural environment. They gave me a t-shirt. Pretty cool, huh? I'm a sucker for swag. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up today. Uh, big shout out to Nate and the good people at the muffler shop in Buford, Georgia. If you're in that area and you need some exhaust work done, go check them out. Quality work. And we'll see you real soon. In the meantime, get off the couch and go wrench on something. Now i got to find a bone to gnaw on. <laughs>